Hello, welcome to a new game called Train to Get Sun uh, by Tate Games. It's uh, from a Philippine uh, developer, I think. Uh, pa Pano Ang Puso Ko. Is this Tagalog? Sino Ang Nag Ra Ra Ra. Sino Kaya Ang Panag Nang Yang. Kay Len Gang Ko Panang Whatever. Not happening. Uh, okay, so basically, we've got to go. Uh, take Grandma from North Avenue to Kinsan, but there's zombies in the way. So if you've seen the uh, movie Train to Busan, this is the Philippine version, Train to Kinsan. Um, now, uh, I'm playing this on Bluestacks, uh, so Google Play. Um, this is version 9.2. I have got to the last level. I haven't completed this yet. But I, first, I thought I'd first show you the first part. So this is the first level, North Avenue. There's 16 levels all up. Uh, there's a huge... There's a huge um, assortment of uh, uh, weapons. Uh, you got to pick up these survivors. And the, the, the currency is rubber ducks. So you, you can upgrade the weapons the more rubber ducks you collect. And the more survivors you can uh, collect... You pop them later on and they become rubber ducks. Um, each one of these survivors have a... So on the first station, G uh, GMA Kamuning Station, uh, a whole bunch of passengers will get on board and then a zombie will rush at them like that to try and... Uh, now you can, just like the movie, uh, have your phone ring on you and that will cause a horde to rush in at you. So you have to dispatch all the zombies. Um, the ones in the pink dresses are really quick. Uh, you got some sort of Dracula one there, and you've got um, a shielded one. Uh, Sixteen stations all up. So that's the phone call and everything rushing at us. Uh, now the second station is Kubayo. Um, and that will have another horde. So unfortunately, I got a, I got a, a horde from the phone, and I got another horde coming in. So I've got double horde. Um, hopefully, I can get through this without losing too much health. If I lose too much health like that, um, I have paid for a cannon, and the cannon will turn everything into rubber ducks. But you can only have the cannon operate twice per station. Now this is a minigun, this is pretty good. This will plow through, you got 380 bullets. Uh, you got night vision, uh, you can unlock that and upgrade that also. Um, just sight train to Bison. Um, and they're not as active I, I think in night. So, um, everything train to Bison has in it, this sort of has in it as well. Uh, the grand this is the grandfathers they're a new new enemy they wait there until you come right on top of them and then they sort of get up on the third station which is a ayala uh, you'll just have rubber duck currency uh, spawning uh, so as I said 16 stations we'll probably go about halfway uh, so I've got the phone. now the rubber ducks will get in the way of bullets too. Uh, there's one station that's notorious for that. So I find backing up is usually the best, just uh, take everything out from a distance. Wow, there we go. So, so as I said, you can unbelt all the guns. Um, but you've got to uh, have five main guns at any given time. So I've just given myself the machine guns and the alien gun. Uh, see if that comes on. Once you run out of your machine gun bullets, uh, you'll basically just have a useless gun. Uh, the cane's better. So I've got another gun now. MP5 bullets. Uh, so we're at Taft. You'll have a horde spawning. 
speed through them using as many bullets and switch to cane. I have a pipe bomb but I can't. I don't have time to switch to the because I'll chew through my health pretty quick so I just have to keep caning them and uh, hopefully get through it. There we go. So I'm going to throw the pipe bomb. And you got to put on a mask, you got to pay for the mask. Any survivors in standing inside a uh, virus zone will automatically turn. And so if you're not careful, uh, you might have a, a horde that you're not expecting rushing on top of you. Um, now these phone calls get really aggravating, especially later on, and really long. You can see the phone in my pocket, should throw the phone out. Now because we're actually in a gas cloud, when the survivors get on board, they will automatically turn and then become another horde, like that. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, what was that station? I think that was Taft. And uh, if that was Taft, um, that's your first sort of place where you can get a uh, ticket and you can take the shortcut. These are going to turn. Oh, that might have been Paranak. Before. Don't know where we are now. So. We had a card, uh, it derailed, and uh, now we have a new enemy that comes off the bottom. You also see the clowns, it's from the Stephen King, uh, Alabang, where uh, Alabang, so the previous stage was Paranat. Um, now, this big hog, there's not really much you can do, he's going to chew through your health. Uh, you just got to make sure you have plenty of those. Uh, big health kits. This is the alien gun. Just like choose through everything pretty quick. Um, these enemies, are, you can't shoot them so they are very aggravating when they get, especially later on when you've got a lot of survivors and you want to help the survivors. Um, so again these survivors are going to turn because they're in the ga gas cloud. Um, now this virus actually has an actual name, uh, it's part of a book, uh, inspired by a book, which is actually, he's done that and all the train stations are real train stations. Like, it's actually a legitimate uh, North Avenue to Kinsan, he's actually put the legit route and all the train stations. I don't know to what extent how detailed he's gone, but I'm, I've looked at Google Maps and I'm starting to think he's actually done it so detailed he's even put the uh, the tunnels exact and maybe even the time it takes. So you might be doing a legitimate uh, train to Kassan passage for what it would take in real life. Which is fascinating that he might have gone to that ex extreme detail. Uh, but I'll go to, into that in, not this video, but when we get to the end of the series, I'll go into detail there. Uh, looking at all the secrets like I normally do. So we're getting there. Um, normally it does tell you how long you've got to keep going for, so we know it's three minutes. Uh, the last level, uh, last station takes 30 minutes of non-stop being attacked. It is crazy. As I said, crazy, crazy hard. Um, as you go along, uh, we're, you're getting through. There's still a few more, so we're up to Columba. Uh, this is the last station we'll, we'll show. Uh, you'll come across the left for Deadwitch. Um, and um, as you saw the pipe bombs before. 
And so you pick up the ticket. Uh, whoever let it pass will be shown mercy. So basically you don't attack the witch. If you attack the witch, um, you will die. You notice I've backed up. Uh, if you don't back up, you will also die. So I've backed up and then you just go onto the train. You can get it so that it says uh, it will take the time of your device and it will say log in in one hour's time. And you have to log out and log back in in one hour's time or it will kill you. Well, until next time guys.